So hello, I'm Michael Hornby. Um, I'm the goalie, and this is I'm a senior, and this is the fourth year on the Burn Burton hockey team. Uh, I'm Max Brownley. I'm a captain of the boys' varsity hockey team. I'm a senior, and I play winger. My name is Jack McCoy. Uh, I'm a senior, and I play defense. My name is Jake Murnahan. I'm a senior at BBA, and I am a forward. Uh, my name is Owen McGonagall. I'm a junior, and I play winger. Uh, I'm Ryan Kramer. I'm a sophomore, and I play defense. Uh, my name's Nolan Thomas. I am a freshman at Burn Burton Academy, and my position in ice hockey is center. I'm uh, head coach Mark Slade of the Burn Burton Boys Varsity Ice Hockey Team. Um, yes, yeah, so fan support is huge. You know, when, when you start off playing hockey, the first thing you do is you look up into the stands to see your parents watching. And it's kind of, it's kind of the same thing um, nowadays. You know, when I, when I play, I look around, see who's there. The energy of the game really translates to the fans. And um, yeah, it's super important. Um, obviously, it's hockey, so it's going to be exciting. But I think this year it's going to be um, a little more eventful than years past. Last year, we had some tough home games. But this year, I think we're going to really turn it around. Um, and fans impacting the game, I mean, it's huge. When you have fans, you know, your friends watching, it makes a big difference in how you play. Uh, fan support is great. I think it's um, very important for um, momentum and um, to bring the high energy. It, it, it kind of makes everybody dial in a little bit more, I believe. Yeah, um, so we do a uh, Pink the Rink, uh, which is a breast cancer awareness game. Uh, we wear pink uniforms and kind of decorate the, the rink in, in a bunch of pink colors. Fan support's really huge for our team. Uh, I think it gets the whole team really riled up when the fans are banging on the boards and uh, getting loud. Um, I'd say just any any home game you can make it to, or you know, like there's specific ones like Pink the Rink and Senior Night. Uh, I think it's definitely important, you know, they get the the energy levels up, you know, get get us going. Yeah. So um, this year, um, I feel like the team's pretty pretty motivated because you know we're I feel like we have a really good connection. We're spending a lot more time together. We you know we'll have these really good practices for an hour and 15 minutes each day, and then after that we'll typically go back to the school to do a workout together as a team. And then when we just came back from from a overnight trip up in Linden, and so we all spent the night together hanging out at the hotel, that kind of thing. So. I think there's just a lot of opportunities for the team to kind of bond and get together. I would say just everyone trusts everyone. You know, there's obviously groups, people form closer bonds with everyone, but if everyone can be friendly with each other um, and trust each other, that'll go a long way on the ice. I think this year we have a few new players that are going to be key to our team. Um, so making sure they're included in everything and they're a part of the team and that um, our connection with them is as strong as it is with the rest of the team and all the returners. Um, so moving into that, I think just making sure we stay on the right path and um, work together. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely say they're doing their job. You know, they're bringing us all together as a team, including everyone. Uh, yeah. I think the teams helped me get more integrated at all, and I feel extremely welcome. I used to pick the captains, uh, but now after a number of years, we realize that our leadership team which is seniors and juniors they provide a great culture within the team of what we expect leaders to be and what we want for for bulldog hockey so now the captains that are outgoing they have a real heavy uh choice of who's going to take their place because they know what it takes they know what the guys do in the locker room they know how to how they treat each other and they know how it how important it is to have a great leadership group for the team. Um, yeah, I think the one of the things that we're doing is we're we're incorporating a lot of strength work, uh, strength workouts early in the season, so that um, you know, we kind of have a base fitness level built up, so that you know when we do hard practices, that kind of thing, lots of games back to back, our bodies are kind of used to it and. Um, 
yeah, I think it's going to help with injury prevention. We also have days where we just do recovery. And um, I think uh, Coach, Coach John Lewis, he brought us in like these, I don't know what they're called, but they're like inflatable airbags for your legs and they, they make you, they make all the soreness go away. Um, this year, compared to years past, we've been in the weight room a lot more. And I think that's going to, I think it's going to make a difference, especially for these younger guys to get them built up for the next two years. Um, but I think our off-ice stuff has been a lot more serious and a lot more impactful and meaningful compared to years past so yeah i mean we manage it just give them time we got a deep team enough players who can step up fill the roles so just whatever whatever the player needs it's improved a lot from last year last year we came with a lot of young guys we had a kind of try to figure out how to make it work uh, but this year we're coming in with a year of experience together and um, I'd say our, like, our collaboration and our teamwork has been able to improve because of it. Um, definitely better compared to last year. Uh, I think guys have gotten a little bit older and matured a little bit. So we've all kind of grew, grew together as we've gotten older. I'd say it was pretty well. Um, a lot of the guys I play with, I've been growing up with for a really long time now. So we've had chemistry to build and I think it's really all coming together for our last year as a team. Uh, I'd say we got three solid lines and we've I'd say we found already early in the season like the right combinations and everyone's got good chemistry. You know, I think uh, we work well together and uh, we persevere through uh, rough times and get better. Uh, the dynamic this year is quite a bit different from last year's team. Um, last year we had three seniors and we had 13 freshmen. So naturally, with 13 freshmen and only three seniors, it becomes kind of difficult to manage such a young group. And you have to teach way more in the beginning to get everybody on the same page, working in the same way, and working at the speed that we need them to, to work at. Now, fast forward into this year, we have quite a few seniors, and all those freshmen are now sophomores. So they have one year experience, They've done a great job throughout the season last year, and we got two games down, and they're real key contributors. Well, obviously the state championship. Um, it's gonna be a little harder this year now that we're D1, but I think everyone's ready for the challenge. We can't wait. Um, I guess the goal always is to win a state championship, but um, definitely, uh, win some games in playoffs, I would say. Um, score goals when we can and, you know, make the most of the opportunities. For the team, probably uh, winning the chip, obviously, but, you know, just everyone working well together, bonding well, and, yeah. Uh, really just giving it your all. Like, no need to coast. Um, when you're on the ice, give it 100% or else get off the ice. Um, and when we do that, it'll be a big part of our success. Uh, we've kind of stayed with our, we have an offensive side where we run a cycle um, to try to get everybody moving and create like that triangle, triangle you like to have in the offensive zone. Um, and then from there, kind of make passes and look for the back door and try and put some in the net. Uh, I'd say the coaching staff emphasizes uh, being a good teammate, being positive, um, just working on like uh, feedback and seeing what we can do better. I think they've been pushing a lot of breakouts and passing drills. So how we try to maintain focus and in, in that composure in high pressure situations starts right here on the ice. Uh, we try to value individual skill development so that they feel competent with the skills that they have. And then we take those skills and we place them in high competition against each other. We try to make practices way more difficult than what they're gonna see in game time. So that in those high pressure moments, they, they know what it feels like because they've worked so hard against each other that they, they're ready to go. They have a little bit of experience. So that's, that's primarily what we do. On off the ice, we we talk through it. We do visualization. Uh, we work their body in, in the weight room. Physical fitness is important. 
we try to get their minds right so that when those times come, these guys are ready to go and they can handle those moments. Absolutely. I have a cousin who's a sophomore. I've played with him my whole life. Or I've watched him play. Um, and it's really exciting to watch him grow over the past two years. And they have a really good core of players, and I'm excited to watch them in the future. Um, definitely. Uh, I think everybody this year has got potential to be great. Um, but we got two strong lines and a lot of potential this year, so I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I'd say uh, number seven, Bodie Smith, and number four, Luke Brownlee, have really gone up in a lot since last year. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think I think all the sophomores there kind of work together, improve on each other. Uh, well, as a team just moving up to D1, we're going to face a lot of new teams and a lot of adversity. But uh, I'm really excited, and I think our team will thrive off of it. Uh, I mean, I'd say for challenges, there's always, you know, uh, just coming back from coming back from a loss or injuries or anything anything that's weighing us down overall. Well, yeah, I'd say somewhat challenging, but I do know a good amount of the people on the team, so it makes it easier for me. Uh, so it could be viewed in a bad light where um, if we stay Division Two, we're one of the top teams. And we have a real, like a real chance, like you could touch the championship. It's, it's almost there. Moving to D1 could be like, how are we going to be competing? But this is a group of guys and a group of leaders that I really believe could go out and compete against any team in Vermont, whether it's D1 or D2. I'm really excited to see what they put together um, in their season and I can't wait to see how they compete. And I think that they can have a real successful season.